Good day and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today we are continuing our coverage of the civil war taking place inside of the former state of uh, Ethiopia. And uh, first on our agenda is uh, the prospects that the Tigray region could uh, formally uh, declare uh, itself uh, fully independent from the uh, the regime of uh, Abiy Ahmed and the uh, Prosperity Party is currently much on the cards and is being uh, much uh, talked about as a as as a viable possibility. I would say at this point, uh, the possibility of uh, Tigray uh, coming back under uh, the uh, regime of uh, Abiy Ahmed and and Isaiah Safwerki is uh, is very remote at this point. I, I feel that. Uh, the uh, the social contract contract uh, uh, has been destroyed. Uh, as you remember, uh, the uh, Tigray region uh, was to uh, hold uh, its uh, normal uh, democratic regional elections, and those elections under the auspice of COVID nineteen uh, were declared null and void, and uh, and uh, the uh, Tigray region uh, was uh, initially uh, disallowed. Uh, from uh, conducting those elections, and uh, the uh, the Tigray region uh, went ahead and and uh, uh, went ahead with those elections, and uh, then that led to uh, the invasion of the Tigray region by a Ahmed and uh, his close ally, uh, a completely separate state of uh, Eritrea, uh, led by Isaiah Safwerki. And uh, over the course of the year, those forces that invaded the Tigray region were eventually uh, defeated and driven out. And uh, uh, now uh, the regime of Abiy Ahmed has instituted the Anaconda Strategy, a complete uh, blockade uh, designed to starve out the entire population of Tigray and uh, get it to yield uh, to, uh, to his terms. And uh, at this point, uh, as I had said before, the, the social contract and the, the heinous crimes that were uh, committed by uh, the regime of Abiy Ahmed and the uh, this despotic state of uh, Eritrea during the occupation of Tigray uh, has, uh, has led to uh, the, uh, really the dismemberment of uh, the former state of Ethiopia, the the idea that the the Tigray region would 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 come back under the fold of of a Ahmed, I, I would say at this point, uh, very very remote to uh, to to almost a zero, and uh, and with that being said, a Ahmed continues this uh, this anaconda strategy of trying to uh, starve out uh, the entire uh, Tigray region uh, because they will not yield, and. Uh, so now uh, there is talk circulating that uh, processes uh, could start to uh, quite possibly formally uh, declare itself, meaning Tigray, uh, fully independent. It would become one of the newest uh, nation states uh, in the world and quite possibly uh, then join the, the United Nations and, uh, and seek the uh, right of uh, self-determination. And uh, if, if it were not for uh, the, the destruction of that uh, social contract and those heinous crimes that, uh, that occurred uh, during the occupation of, of, of the Tigray region, I would say, well, you know, maybe there, there would have been a room for uh, the, uh, the, the Tigray region and uh, the, uh, the Prosperity Party. Uh, and the uh, uh, what was formerly known as as Ethiopia to reconcile, but uh, I just I don't believe at this point uh, that can't happen uh, given what has happened uh, on the ground and what continues to to happen on the ground as there is uh, active starvation and uh, what uh, what what many uh, individuals would would call genocide is uh, is actively occurring uh, inside of the Tigray region. And uh, that is due in part uh, to this blockade, which uh, continues. Obviously, to the north of Tigray, you have the despotic regime of Eritrea uh, that is not allowing any uh, uh, foods or supplies to, to come into the nation. And to the uh, uh, east and south uh, and west, 
uh, the same uh, the, the same uh, the same status uh, is uh, is is happening in terms of uh, uh, not allowing uh, those much needed uh, uh, food aid to be delivered into the uh, Tigray region. And uh, during the occupation uh, of the Tigray region by the regime of Abiy Ahmed and, and uh, Isaiah Safwerki, um, much of the uh, resources that are that were needed uh, to 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 run a region or state uh, were taken from uh, the Tigray region, and that that really includes anything that was not initially uh, nailed and or bolted down uh, inside of the region were were basically stolen. Uh, from the uh, Tigray region, I you know I try to be as uh, unbiased as possible in, in a lot of my reviews of uh, of current uh, conflicts that are taking place. But at some point, uh, everyone has a has a moral compass, and uh, given uh, what has occurred and is occurring, yeah, I have time kind of taken a a stand uh, in this uh, in this ongoing. Uh, conflict, and I, you know, I do believe there there is inherently right and wrong, and uh, in this case, uh, I uh, I fully believe that uh, the the regime of uh, of Abiy Ahmed uh, is uh, and uh, has become uh, despotic in nature, uh, just like uh, its uh, its close ally and mentor uh, to the north, uh, the despotic state of Eritrea. There can be no denial. Uh, that uh, Eritrea is one of the most undemocratic and despotic nation states on the planet Earth. And uh, unfortunately, the former state of Ethiopia, uh, be, uh, led by a Ahmed, who is directly under the tutelage of Isaiah S. F. Worki, and, and, and as it would appear to be some fo form of, uh, of mentor, mentor e relationship, uh, you, can, you can clearly see uh, that uh, that is uh, that is happening, and what I mean by that again is is the former state of Ethiopia areas controlled uh, by Abiy uh, Ahmed are uh, are probably heading down, or not probably they they are in fact heading down that road of uh, of uh, dictatorship, and uh, and and eventually, in all probability, if not removed from power, uh, will become a uh, a despotic uh, nation state. Uh, as uh, it uh, is is very well uh, and and apparent that uh, a Ahmed has no uh, absolutely no desire to uh, leave power and uh, and rules by uh, and rules by power and uh, uh, kinetic power uh, meaning uh, the security apparatuses that uh, he now controls inside of the uh, former state of Ethiopia and, and the, the 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 capital uh, Addis Ababa which is uh, for all intents and purposes, a uh, a very large city state at this point, with uh, some external allies. But uh, that's is the uh, is the news right now. Again, uh, there is active talk about uh, formalizing uh, full independence of the Tigray region. They already have their own uh, fully autonomous uh, armed forces, and uh, talk of uh, a, uh, a internal. Uh, banking apparatus as well, and possibly its own currency, and uh, and obviously that would uh, continue the path towards uh, complete independence. I, I just again I don't think, uh, given that the uh, social contract uh, in the uh, uh, the the former state of Ethiopia has been uh, torn up and destroyed, especially in regards to the Tigray region. I don't think there's any uh, going back at this point. I don't. I don't see how uh, they can, meaning they, the uh, uh, the the Tigray region. But uh, that's uh, my take on what's kind of happening right now, and uh, we'll have more very very soon. Thank you for joining us.